Skippy John Jones by Judy Schachner. Every morning, Skippy John Jones woke up with the birds. And this did not please mother at all. Get yourself down here right now, Mr. Kitten Bridges, ordered Mama Junebug Jones. No self-respecting cat ever slept with a flock of birds, she scolded, or ate worms, or flew, or did his laundry in Mrs. Dog Higgy's bird bath. went on and on as usual. You've got to do some serious thinking before you leave this room, Mr. Fuzzy Pants, said Mother, about just what it means to be a cat. Not a bird, not a mouse or a grouse, not a moose or a goose, not a rat or a bat. You need to think about just what it means to be a Siamese cat. And stay out of your closet, she added, closing the bedroom door. But once he was alone, Skippy John Jones began to bounce and bounce and bounce on his big boy bed. Oh, I'm Skippy John Jones and I bounce on my bed. And once or six times, I land on my head. On his way down to earth from a gigantic big bounce, Skippy John Jones shot past his bedroom mirror. Holy guacamole, exclaimed Skippy John Jones. What was that? So up he went again, and it appeared. Then, using his very best Spanish accent, he said, my ears are too big for my head. My eyes is too big for my body. I'm not a Siamese cat. I'm a Chihuahua. Back on land, Skippy John Jones climbed into his toy box and riffled through some of his old junk. After he put on his mask and sword and climbed onto his mouse, Skippy John Jones began to sing in a muy, muy soft voice. My name is Skippido Fresquido. I fear not a single bandido. My manners are mellow. I'm sweet like the jello. I get the job done, yes indeed -o. Back in the kitchen, Juju B, Jezbel, and Jilly Boo Jones we're helping Mama Junebug Jones make lunch. Can Skippy John come out of his room now? Asked Jujube. No, answered Mama Junebug Jones. Mr. Fluffernutter is still thinking. In fact, Skippy John wasn't thinking about being a Siamese cat at all. With a walk into his closet, his thoughts took him down a lonesome desert road, far, far away in old Mexico. Not long into his journey, a mysterioso band of chihuahuas appeared out of the dusk. Ay caramba! Who goes there? asked Skippy John Jones. We go by the name of Los Chimichangos, growled Don Diego, the biggest of the small ones. Who are you? I'm El Escapido, the great sword fighter, said Skippy John Jones. Then the smallest of the small ones spoke up. Why the masquido, dude? asked Poquito Tito. I go incognito, said Skippito. Do you like rice and beans? asked Pinito Lito. Si, I love meat and beans, said Skippito. He might be the dog of our dreams, whispered Rosalita. Perhaps, said Tia Mia, if he knows the secret password. Leaning toward Don Diego, El Skipido half sneezed, half spoke the secret password into the Chihuahua's very large ear. Ah, Pichu! Bless you, said Don Diego. Gracias, said Skipido. Then it is true, decreed Don Diego. 
Yip, yippy, yipido. It's the end of Alfredo Bazito. Skipito is here. We have nothing to fear. Adios to the bad Bumblebeeto. Then all of the chimichangos went crazy loco. First they had a fiesta. Then they took a siesta. But after waking up, the chimichangos got down to serious bee's nest. Using his paw, Don Diego drew a picture in the sand of the great bumblebeeto for Skipido to see. A hush grew over the chimichangos so great that one could hear a whisker drop. Alfredo Bazito, whispered the crowd. El Bimpo Bumblebeeto Bandito. Si se poquito, Tito. The bandito steals our frijoles. Not your beans, cried Skirpito, outraged. Si, poquito, continued. Red beans, black beans, Boston baked and blue, cocoa, coffee, kidney beans, pinto, and jelly, too. And now he comes for us, poquito added. Asquepido. Por qué? Because we are full of the beans, too. Then Don Diego stood tall and in his most somber voice declared, Yo quiero frijoles. Huh? asked Skipido. The dude just wants his beans back, said Poquito Tito. And you are the dog for the job. Me? asked Skipido. Then all of the chimichangas turned towards Skipido, the great sword fighter. But poor Skipido had no time for a plan, because in the blink of an eye, a gigantic shadow darkened the landscape. The chimichangos scattered in all directions. Vamos, Skipido, or it is you the bandido with Ido, they cried. Skipido stood his ground, but his legs shimmied and shook like the jello, and his teeth shattered like the castanets. Then in a muy muy soft voice, he said, My name is Skipido Frisquido. I fear not a single bandido. But Alfredo Bazito flew straight for Skipido until the bean-eating bandido hovered only inches away from the great sword fighter's face. Holy frijoles, cried Skipido as he thrust his sword in the air. Suddenly, pop, went the bandito, landing on Skipido's sword. And quicker than one could say chihuahuas, cheese and crackers. Every kind of bean came spilling out of Alfredo Bazito, the bumblebeeto bandito. Then all of the doggies burst into song. Yip, yippy, yipido. Our hero is El Skipido. He's a dog of our dreams who delivered the beans and now we can make our burritos. But back at home, there was such a ruckus coming from Skippy John Jones' room that Mama Junebug Jones and the girls just had to find out what was going on. They raced down the hall to see Kitty Boy's room. Banguito, Crashito, Papito, Skippido. Just in time to see Skippy John's closet exploding. Then out flew Candy, Beanbag Doggies, and the Kitty Boy with his birthday pinata on his head. Skippy John Jones, everyone cried. Hola, muchachitas, he said in a muy muy soft voice. Mama Junebug Jones lifted up Skippy John and covered his head with furry, purry kisses. What am I going to do with you, Mr. Coco Pugs? She scolded. That night, when he was supposed to be going to sleep, Skippy John began to bounce and bounce on his big boy bed. Oh, I'm Skippy John Jones with a mind of my own, and I'll bounce on my bed for hours. I know I'm a cat, but forget about that. Say good night, Skippy John Jones, called his mama. 
Buenas noches, mis amigos, said Skippy John Jones. Subscribe for more videos.